Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the Low Budget Feature, yeah, it's old, of course. And, it's Kung Fu. Yep, one of those martial arts films. I think yeah. would, I will review one of these again, because it's my way of talking about the age of cinema. So today's feature will be Point the Finial of Death. And that's kind of a weird title concerning the fact that there's some scenes with swords in it, so okay, whatever. But anyway, I just figured I would talk about this movie and just let so you know it's the dubbed version I'm talking about here folks. So of course the English dubbing isn't exactly gonna be all the best, just so you know. Yeah. But nevertheless, I would talk about it anyway, so whatever. Anywho, so as usual, I have to talk about the plot, so let's just go into it, shall we? So here we go. For the most, what's going on in the plot? There's no sense around that there is this secret, secret society that plans to overthrow this, um, uh, this, uh, this destiny, if I'm pronouncing that right, excuse me if I'm wrong, it, but I resume the uh, certain type of uh, government, I guess you would say. But their organization gains the support of numerous of uh, martial art clans, I guess you would say. So this government has its own plans to pretty much squash the rebellion, so to speak. So of course, let's just say that there are these uh, central figure, whom, I guess you would say, has plans, of course, and wants to use some techniques, some force to make people surrender and whatnot. So our main character here, let's just say, is this guy named Jimmy? Is this uh, one-armed swordman as a part of a group? Fighting to overthrow this this type of government of the same a moment ago, but yeah, let's just say that things do become rather you know interesting. I guess you would say it's pretty fast paced in here, folks. Of course, and that's a you get to see why he's like this original one armed swordsman. Yes, you get to see why, of course. But yeah, so. Let's just say things to become rather crazy in some little way, obviously. I know when it comes to these movies, I'm always bringing up the fighting. But for the obvious reason, that's why I'm going to do it. So yeah, in regards of that, it's definitely well made, of course. And that's definitely one of the things I miss from this genre, is that mm -hmm. having the fighting go out in a very fluent manner. Not have the editing be all chopped up like in a lot of the recent action movies and whatnot. This is something I brought before, but come on, these movies are really cheaply made. The fight just come out better. I, I don't know how that makes any sense, but whatever it gets. The way it's done is here is pretty well choreographed, I guess. And of course, when you watch these movies, that's one of the main things you want to see anyway. So of course, you might as well have your own little spin to it, I guess you can say. So there's that. And action, you will definitely get, because, yeah, it's fairly very fast-paced, of course, and I didn't mind that really, because that's pretty much what I was expecting when it comes to these types of movies, which in itself isn't necessarily really a bad thing, of course. It delivers the goods, in other words, is what I'm getting at. But if you can find yourself the original version of this film, be sure to get it, because Again, this is the English dubbed version I'm talking about here, folks. Just a quick reminder for whoever's watching this video, so there's that. So, for the story, if you're trying to make it seem like it's a heist state kind of a thing, which is fine. And, well, they had to make it seem exciting somehow, you know, one way or another. So, yeah, make it seem exciting. But, yeah. It's been on my to-do list for quite some time. Again, I know this is technically a notebook, but I'm calling it a to-do list 
in the way because I have a lot of stuff to talk about. I really do. Okay. If you move this from my to do list, because I'm already reviewing it right now. Alright. Okay, that's very good. Really good. Alright. Put that down right there. Yeah. I had that thing for a little, for quite a while. So anyway, like I was saying with the movie, would I say it's worth watching? I thought so. If you're somebody that's into like the whole vintage martial arts kind of a thing, I'll say check it out. I just give it a watch once, at least you can say. But yeah, I didn't mind it. Huh. I like the Search of Three type of movies because I like I like old movies. I always prefer old movies. If you look at my channel, a good chunk of what I review are old movies. Not always, of course, but the vast majority of the time, that's what I'm going to be reviewing, obviously. Most of the time. Review. Not always, but most. But, um, but yeah. I guess you can consider this as a, as a rare movie, as an uh, obscurity, I guess you can say. But, uh, another reason as to why I should talk about it. But anyway, uh, not exactly the best kung fu movie I've seen, but I've probably saw it one minute less. I'll give this film an overall rating. Of a 6.7 out of 10. It's a 6.7 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching. And take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh yeah. Later. Mm-hmm. Yeah.